we can win this fight and win the battle for liberty. Thank you. And we have 
gotten away from that notion. I can't believe, Dr. Paul, that we're here in the year 2012 and we have to defend the free market. We have to defend the idea that the way to get ahead and that the way society prospers is by an individual having an idea, saving up their money, investing that money in that idea, working hard, and then reaping the benefits of their labor. We have come to a point where that's not what drives our economy, according to our president. The government drives our economy to the point where he ridicules an individual who is successful and says, I look at them and sometimes I say to myself, they think they're successful because they're so smart. They didn't get there on their own. They didn't build that. Is that America? Is that what we want? We've come full circle. We've come full circle. We had Barry Goldwater in 64 pushing back against the statism yeah. of the Santa Fe Republican Party back in 64. We had Ronald Reagan in 1980 who moved the ball forward a little bit further and beat back Gerald Ford and the establishment. Yeah. Now we've got Ron Paul pushing that same message to the same future. And just like Barry Goldwater's plea for individual liberty and freedom and small government gave birth to Ronald Reagan 16 years later, it is our job to build on what this man has accomplished and to keep pushing to keep fighting, to keep supporting people who stand for the Constitution, who stand for liberty, using your treasure, your time, your passion, because we can change things. Yes. And if we don't, and if we don't, this is where my role as a state legislator plays in. I pray to God that we can overcome a $17 trillion debt. I pray to God that we can reverse another trillion dollar deficit, which we've had now for four years in a row. I pray to God that somehow the Federal Reserve stops pumping more and more money, printing more money, and putting it into the economy and making something that's going to fool producers into producing consumer goods. It's not fooling them. It hasn't worked. I hope that we can turn that around. But if we can, if we can, the genius of our U.S. Constitution is that it is a founder of sovereign states. Yeah! the federal government. And if the federal government wakes up one day and finds out that China doesn't want to buy our T-bills anymore, and if things start to implode, I want South Carolina to be the freest state in the nation. So Ron Paul is fighting that battle up in Washington, D.C. My friend Danny Burden is over here. My friend Greg Gregory. Other people in the General Assembly. Our job is to make sure that South Carolina is a place that respects and promotes freedom, that limits the size of government, that rewards entrepreneurs. We have a small window of opportunity to do that. We have to do that. That's our job. That's my job as a state senator. I can't do anything about Ben Bernanke. I can't do anything about the federal debt. I can't do anything other than agitate for reform. But I can, as a state senator, make South Carolina the freest state in the nation. And that's what I'm going to do. The job of each of us here, going forward, is to talk to your friends, talk to your family, talk to your, your neighbors, get them on board with this message. Because as Dr. Paul just said, we have right on our side, we have rally on our side, we have the founder's vision on our side, because what does the Declaration do? It was created for one purpose, and one purpose only, which is secure the blessings of liberty and the rights that are given to us by our Creator. That was government's job. Government was never supposed to step in and take care of us. It's our job to take the message forward. Thank you, Dr. Paul, for being here today. And help